ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hello, this is James Spann. This is our Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday morning, the 7th day of April. Weather always interesting this time of the year. Let's uh, go right to some Skycam images early this morning, and we note that it is a bit foggy down in Chilton County at Clanton. That's our uh, Skycam image. In downtown Clanton, looks like visibility only uh, about a mile or so there in fog. Uh, the Birmingham camera showing a little fog in uh, downtown Birmingham, not quite as thick there. And pretty much the same view coming from the Inverness Skycam from the Wingate Inn overlooking U.S. Highway 280. Here's the uh, water vapor satellite imagery this morning, and uh, we've got one system up north over uh, Minnesota, pretty good looking short wave there. A uh, wave moving off the uh, Florida coast, off the South Atlantic coast, and some wedging going on. Uh, there's a look at temperatures, and really, this wedge not as pronounced as many of them. The big story, I guess, is that cold air up north. Look at all the uh, temperatures in the teens, even some single digits up north. Hey, this is uh, getting to be mid-April here. Pretty cold for this time of the year. This morning on the radar, if you look very carefully, this is the uh, Maxwell Air Force Base radar, and it's in the clear air mode, but you'll see a few little sprinkles and showers showing up over East Alabama, uh, around uh, Anniston and Heflin, around uh, Cheehaw, and that seems to be an association with that weak wedge front that's providing some convergence over East Alabama. We have not mentioned rain in the forecast today. Those weak showers are lifting north, and now, we think with time those will dissipate, but we'll keep an eye on that for sure. Uh, here's a look at the uh, severe weather outlook uh, for today. There's a severe weather possibility, a slight risk over the nation's breadbasket there, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, northwest Arkansas. Uh, tomorrow, the slight risk area expands from near College Station, Texas, almost up to Chicago. That includes Little Rock and Memphis and St. Louis, almost to Indianapolis. And then on day three, the uh, weather risk shifts back off to the uh, west again, the severe weather risk over a large part of Texas and Oklahoma. That could be a pretty big severe weather day Wednesday with a big deep trough developing out west. We'll be watching that. And then on the uh, day four outlook, that's Thursday, a severe weather risk from Texarkana up to Indianapolis. And again, that includes Little Rock and St. Louis and Memphis. It will be under the gun for several days this week, and there's a chance we could see some active weather here Friday at the end of the week on day five. But uh, in terms of the severe weather potential, we think uh, through Thursday uh, it will be very active, but it will stay west of here. This is the expected rain across the country, valid through uh, Friday evening at 7 o'clock, and this is suggesting rainfall amounts of, well, two inches over northwest Alabama, about one inch here. And then it trails off down to uh, not much at all over southeast Alabama. And the heaviest rain from uh, Dallas-Fort Worth and Wichita Falls, Texas, up to uh, Little Rock and Cape Girardeau, Missouri. It's suggesting some five-inch rains up in there. Well, let's take a look at this. Uh, this is where we are at uh, 1 o'clock today. This is at 500 millibars coming off the OZGFS, showing a, a strong shortwave moving over the Great Lakes way north of here. And at the surface, that surface low, again, way north. No direct impact. Surface low east of Daytona Beach moving east. And the real issue here is that wedge coming down from the east. Now, this high is north of Maine, pretty far north. So temperatures probably won't be impacted all that much. But again, the GFS is detecting that uh, moisture area over far east Alabama and Georgia. So it could be for Anniston, and points east today, the sky will be mostly cloudy. And then once you go west of Anniston, the sky's mostly sunny. Tuscaloosa could see low 80s today. Anniston might not get out of the 60s today. Ah, the old wedge. Uh, tomorrow, the uh, wedge breaks down to some degree. It's still there, but the surface high is uh, just moving away. So we think tomorrow should be a fairly quiet day. Uh, the GFS depicting a little patch of moisture over southeast Alabama, but we'll just call it partly sunny tomorrow, and again, upper 70s likely. Some active convection uh, will be firing off to the west. Wednesday, here comes that big trough out west. And down below that, uh, we've got one wave uh, that's up over the Great Lakes with a trailing front. We, uh, we, we do think with that, uh, we might see a few showers Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday night, and we have mentioned that in the forecast. But the big severe weather show will be out to the west over Texas. Now, Thursday, the trough deepens, 
And a big surface low forms over Fort Smith, Arkansas. Again, that looks like an active severe weather day, and there could be enough moisture here for a few scattered showers. But the more organized severe weather threat more than likely would be off to the west. And then on Friday, that trough uh, continues to deepen and gets closer. And at the surface, uh, it looks like they're trying to dry slot us now. The GFS really faster than previous runs. It's got the main squall line coming through here Friday morning. Uh, gut feeling here says it might be slower than that, maybe Friday afternoon. But we'll see. We'll, we'll mention a good chance of showers and storms on Friday. Maybe a few strong to severe storms, and we'll fine-tune that forecast as we go along this week. And then Saturday, the trough deepens, and I tell you what, that's going to be a chilly day. Uh, good northerly flow, the uh, 540 line down to Huntsville. Uh, they might stay in the 50s all day up in the Tennessee Valley, maybe low 60s around here. And then Sunday morning, uh, we'll have to watch out for the possibility of a little scattered frost in spots. Just keep that in mind as temperatures reach the upper 30s. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. We don't expect any uh, uh, freezing temperatures right now based on this, but some frost not out of the question for Sunday. And Sunday should be a dry day, and then there's Monday of next week that looks dry with all of the wave action up north. Uh, we'll go out three days. Pretty good-looking little short wave approaching there. That would suggest maybe some strong to severe storms, if this is right. And then on the 22nd, out there at the end of the forecast period, uh, big vortex over Canada. Looks awfully cold up there. And a short wave in the southern branch. And uh, look at the cold air over New England. And again, that the southern system could impact us. But hey, you know what this is? That far in advance, that is uh, pure voodoo at this point. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, alabamawx.com. And uh, we invite you to uh, watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.